All right. So last weekend, I I took the time to watch a couple of movies, and I would like to do a triple pack of reviews for those movies. The first movie I decided I really wanted to watch was Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I thought it was very cool. It was very much more like an old Godzilla movie than the last Godzilla movie. The last Godzilla movie, they really tried to go more like the um, Cloverfield direction with it. They paid a lot more attention to following the people than really fucking with the monsters. And this one was a lot more of the formula of the old movies. You know, you get a lot of the people stuff and then the monsters kind of all show up in very dramatic fashion. And then there's a lot more people stuff of the people trying to help out Godzilla to get to where he needs to go to do whatever to fight the fucking nasty monsters. And then there's the big fight, right? Like so it was it was the old Godzilla movie format and I thought that was very cool to see done. I like that format. I, I it's simple, you know what you're getting, you don't get anything goofy, it, and it works. It, the reason why those movies are so big is because that formula fucking works, and every goddamn one of them has it, so... And they went with that. And it was so awesome to see, like, King Ghidra and, and Rodan and fucking Mothra, all those old monsters redone with kick-ass CGI graphics. Like, it was cool. Because, I mean, they even made... They made Godzilla when they were, when, you know, did the last one. They made him kind of the old dumpy, fat-ass Godzilla. And I thought that was awesome. I'm like, ah! Because I, I honestly, the, the fucking, the, um, Ferris Bueller Godzilla movie, dude, I hated the Godzilla design in that one. Yeah, it was cool when I was a kid, but... I don't like it anymore. I don't like the streamlined raptor looking fucking... It was a dinosaur. Godzilla's not a dinosaur. Godzilla was a fucking newt or whatever that turned into a fucking giant. Like, it had big dumpy fat ass and it kind of waddled around and beat the shit out of people. Or, you know, monsters. Right? Like, that was fucking Godzilla. It was a big fat ass monster. And then they made Godzilla a big fat ass monster again. And King Ghidra was a fucking big fat ass dragon with three heads and in this movie he was a very kick ass looking CGI big fat ass dragon with three heads and, uh, that was pretty awesome Rodan was a big fucking goofy looking firebird and it was a really kick ass CGI looking big goofy firebird I, I don't know I thought it was awesome Mothra was really cool all the CGI stuff was great oh, it was so good it, just, it, was, like, it wasn't a great story. It's not going to win any fucking awards. But man, was it fun to watch. And I can't recommend it more just to fucking sit down, turn your brain off, and just watch the pretty, pretty pictures flash, man. Because, boy, is it cool. I played Marvel Puzzle Quest through the storyline. I watched all the fights. It was a fucking great movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, I understood what was going on, but, I mean, it's not like it's really a complex story. So, I did other things during the story, and then I watched the cool, the cool CGI stuff. So, that that was, that's King of the Monsters. Uh, I give that uh, uh, five Godzilla screams. Ah! Five Godzilla screams. You fucking go see that shit. Definitely worth, definitely worth, I don't know, definitely worth a couple bucks, I guess. Um, the second movie I really wanted to watch was, uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. I, I wouldn't say I absolutely loved it. I wouldn't say it was amazing. I don't know if I liked the first one better. I just kind of, I, I, I would say I really liked them both the same. I'd say they're pretty well on par with each other. But... I, I I really didn't like the pacing of it. It was extraordinarily fast paced. Like, they didn't fuck around with much of anything. It was, it, character walks in, information, character walks out, next scene. Thing happens, next scene, next scene, next scene. 
it was, I mean, every scene fit. It wasn't, it didn't really feel overly rushed. It was just so fast paced. It was, it started and then it was fucking over. It was like, oh, okay. It was a very good storyline, but I, I don't know if like they wanted to make this a multiple part movie and have two parts to it. But they made it a, a multiple part movie. They essentially have a part one and a part two. And it's kind of condensed into a two. Like, they don't fuck around with anything. There aren't any drawn out scenes. There are, isn't really a whole lot of, like... Like, there are character building scenes. But during the character building scenes, they're building the storyline at the same time. So it's not like there's ever really any character only driven anything in this movie it's like you already know who the fuck spider-man is we're telling you who everybody else is as we're developing spider-man's character and, and everybody else is kind of there and you know who all these guys are so fuck that you know like <laughs> they're really it was really kind of a we expect that you've seen at least one of the other fucking marvel movies so you know they're getting to that point and it, it like i said it was an odd pacing it didn't feel rushed until it was over and then it was like oh okay okay shit like I don't know, it, it, but it was very, very oddly paced in that it was very fast, even though it didn't feel it at the time, but it certainly felt it afterwards. It, it, it was just, they crammed a whole lot into it, but it was very good. And Mysterio was perfect. He was absolutely perfect. The fucking Jake Gyllenhaal did a great job playing him. They did a fucking amazing job with the costume. They did an amazing job with all the CGI stuff. His powers were great. It was fucking so good. It was really good what they did with Mysterio. Perfect. Spot on. Right out of the comic books. Even down to all of the illusions and everything. Straight out of the comic books. It was very cool to watch. Um, so I, I definitely recommend that. Uh, I really, I really, I mean, honestly, I, I might have given away a little bit too much of the fucking movie just in this review so far. Because like I said, there, if I talk about anything that happened in the movie that was cool, <laughs> you know, everything is storyline in the fucking movie. You really can't. I can't really give anything in a review other than to say everything was great and they did an amazing job with Mysterio. When the, when they when they threw it when you know when the teaser came out and I saw it was Mysterio, I was like, oh, because my first my first nightmare was uh, Iron Man three, because I love the Mandarin. I think he's a great villain. I think he's a great character. I think if they would have actually gone with the Mandarin instead of going with the fucking other goofball that they went with, it it they could have done a the same fucking movie essentially and b it would have been five million times better right i i because they would have had the mandarin and it's a fucking great character but no and i'm like all right some mysterio they can either do really good with this or they're gonna fuck that character terribly and i'm gonna be pissed because i love mysterio <laughs> Right? I'm like, I'm happy and yet very worried. And then when they put Mysterio in Marvel Puzzle Quest, you know, from the movie, I was like, ooh. And I looked at the character and I saw that they had, had him listed as a hero. And I'm like, huh? And then I saw the other movie trailer and they're talking about how Mysterio's a hero and I'm like huh so then I started going oh 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 no what what are what are we doing what no what 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 are we doing and so I got really fucking nervous so I was scared to watch the movie I was just stupid though it was fucking great so I will give that uh five uh, goldfish bowl heads Five goldfish bowl heads with smoke in it. <laughs> Spider-Man Far From Home, really good movie. A lot of good humor in it, 
a lot of cool scenes, a lot of neat callbacks. They're really, they're really firmly putting Spider-Man into all of this stuff that's going on with the Avengers and stuff. Like that's cool. And uh, and it, the, I will say there was one scene that I can kind of talk about. One scene where somebody says, well, "What about Captain Marvel?" And Nick Fury goes, don't invoke her name. And I about pissed myself. Like, I don't know if I'm just reading the hatred for the fact that that movie was even made at all in, like, everything that they do that's kind of like that. But it plays off to me that way. Maybe it doesn't play off to you guys that way, and that's fair enough. But every time they do that kind of shit, I'm like, wow, they really fucking hate that that character is just there. <laughs> and I think it has a lot to do with Brie Larson. So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm, you know, reflecting my emotional states in them, perhaps. But, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> don't invoke her name. Made me laugh. Um, and then the third movie that I watched over the weekend was Shazam. And that was hysterical. Whoever the guy is, that, I don't know his name, whoever the guy is that played adult Shazam, fucking dude was great. He was so good at playing a 15 year old kid, like as an adult. It was hysterical, it was so funny. When just everything, the, the whole fucking movie was a laugh riot, start to finish. And that's exactly what it should have been. And it was, it was good. Like, it was a really good movie, too. It had a very good storyline. It was very deep. Had a lot of cool elements to it. Um, the villain was very interesting and very cool. Uh, the, the fights that went on were very cool. Um, it, was, it was very interesting. To watch, uh, you know, a, a kid become a superhero and then run into a supervillain and then, as a superhero, just run away. <laughs> like, that was very, that was very interesting to see. It was a very, it was a very different superhero movie and it was very good. It was very, very good. And I think the reason why it was so good is because it's not like so many of DC's other movies and they had a character that had some human flaws. You, it was very relatable, and it was very funny. Very good movie. Highly recommend it. Um, there's not really a lot that I can really talk about in the movie that's, you know, beyond that to say whether this was good or not. The, the villain was very cool. I can say that. The villain in the movie was very cool. It's the guy who's playing every DC villain there is. There's a guy that played Sinestro, and he's. I think he was. I think he was even a fucking Marvel villain in one movie. I don't remember, but he's like every DC villain in every movie. So it was that guy, and he was. Uh, he was in um, Sherlock Holmes. He was. In, he was the bad guy in Sherlock Holmes. Don't know his name. He's a very good actor. I really like the guy, and he's a really good villain. And he was really good as this villain. Um, it was a very cool movie. The way they set it up was very cool. The pacing was very good too. It had a lot of, you know, it had a lot of very smooth starts and stops. It would, it would build up to something really exciting. The exciting thing would happen, and then it would slowly decrease into. But it had its moments where it fucking hit you, and that was, you know, it like, it had few of those moments. So it really made for a really nice experience of watching it. It was very funny. It kept you engaged the whole time. It was very well written. The characters were great. The actors were phenomenal. Everybody in it was phenomenal that was in it. Nobody really stunk it up. Even the kids were very good. Um, yeah, it was it was great movie. Can't I, phenomenal. If you haven't seen it. If you're thinking, eh, it's a DC movie, mm -hmm. it's worth it. It's actually really good. It's it, You'll fall in love with the character, trust me. And uh, so I will give that one five big old yellow lightning bolts on my chest. Five big old yellow lightning bolts. That's, that's what I give it. So we'll go see that one. <laughs> and that's, that's, 
really all I did. I watched The Boys, and I watched those three movies, and, and, and I fucking worked on everything in the world. So, right? That's what I did, and that's what you should do this weekend. If you have the opportunity, if you're sitting around and you have a couple of hours to blow, and you don't know what to do, you got three movie suggestions that are all great.